there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. Today we are at what used to be called American Family RV here in Salem, Virginia. They've joined forces with Pete's. It's now Pete's RV. And we're going to look at a hybrid. This is the Rockwood Rue. This is the 21SS. So come on. As you can see, as we start up here up front, it's got an awning that covers the entire side of the, what I would call the non-hybrid side. <laughs> <laughs> front here there's a little storage area and this one of course is locked it will show you on the other side it's a full pass through nice step above steps you got a place to hook up a little outdoor table for a grill or whatever you got some power here which is great and here's the thing with the hybrid right so if you just back up just a second Lisa right so the the middle looks like a regular travel trailer but you got these two sort of pop-up type bump outs and so uh, you'll see in the inside it, it gives it a lot of room but underneath, there's a storage compartment that goes all the way back in there. Also, here is where all your water connections are. Your tire, as you can see, your spare tire is mounted here on the back with a hard shell cover. I love the hard shell covers. Those uh, fabric ones disintegrate after a couple years. Got an outdoor shower, right? Your power connection right there as well. This is a manual jacking system, meaning you just have to crank it down, right? With a little jack crank. Uh, your sewer connection is right here as well. Here's the other side of that storage that I was mentioned. As you see, it is a full pass-through. Uh, it's kind of skinny, but, but it's not bad. You have access from the outside as well from the inside. Uh, let's look at the numbers, Lisa. All right, this has a gross vehicle weight of 6,548 pounds. It's got a combined cargo capacity, or a carrying weight, I should say, of 1,421 pounds, so you can carry 1,421 pounds worth of stuff, which makes this about 5,127 pounds empty. So nice and light. Up front, you've got a dual battery box. I really like the dual battery box. And uh, two 30 pound protein panks. Or those 20s. Yeah, these are 20s, sorry. It just looked bigger underneath there. So two 20 pound protein banks, uh, an electric jack. So let's go inside. So look at this. I mean, for a pop-up, but it's not considered a pop-up. They call this a hybrid. There is a, a ton of room in here, right? This looks like a normal travel trailer area here, right? So right when you walk in, you've got your dinette, a uh, traditional dinette. Uh, this is a, a movable table, which is I think very neat, so it's multi-purpose. Over here you have a couple theater chairs, which are very comfortable. They're electric and manual, meaning you have the pull for the manual part, and there's also a couple of buttons that give you some massage features and some different things. Uh, the only thing that I find interesting about this is the TV is over there. So your theater chairs are here, but the TV is over there. Um, it is on a swivel, Right, so it can pull out a little bit and in turn, it just, it's kind of funny that the TV is all the way over there and the chairs are here, don't you think? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> all right. And then of course we have the kitchen right here. Yes. Uh, let's see, what do we have? We've got a three burner stove. This has an oven. Um, we have a nice 50-50 sink. That is stainless. stainless. Love yeah. it. Love the tall faucet. Um, underneath, we have some storage here as well as a storage drawer. I'm going to pull out and let's see what's that. That is yeah, more storage. Yeah, yeah, more storage. It doesn't go all the way back um, down there at the bottom. Uh huh. It just it stops right there. But the, it's still they're using all the space. Yeah, absolutely. So we have our microwave over here. It is a magic chef. Um, we've got some overhead storage that will hold a lot of uh, plates. Yes, it will. <laughs> absolutely. And I love the window over there as well. So we have the refrigerator freezer and that is not propane, propane. It's a, yep it's a 12 volt yeah very it's nice on battery uh, or or electric very nice that's magic chef as well yeah, we I didn't really talk about the cabinet here uh, i guess you can use this as a pantry or a closet uh, since there's no shelves in there i guess it's made for hanging long things but uh i might use that for a food pantry there are really two bedrooms okay yeah. um these are the the, the sort of the the pop up part of this the hybrid part of it as you can see uh it, it just uh it it's a nice size bed um and on the flip side is 
the mirror image. Now, of course, we didn't bring our tape measure today, did we, Lisa? Uh, of course not. So well, let's go climb in and, yeah, I know why we do that. <laughs> We're gonna go video RVs. Let's <laughs> not bring the tape measure. All right, for those who don't know, I am six foot four. So use my height as reference. My head is touching the top here, uh, or just basically touching the top of one inch from the fabric. Honestly, it's, it's a generous size bed. Now it's a little bit skinnier up here at this end because it sort of is like a trapez trapezoid trapezoid yeah, yeah i think trapezoidal. so so as you can see my feet are now actually touching the fabric so it's a little bit tighter up there but you know it's almost i'd call that an rv queen lisa yeah very nice um there's also some storage underneath here oh that's yeah th this with the access to front storage yeah okay let's not forget the storage underneath the banquette underneath right mm-hmm and then there's storage here in the back. And this is what uh, uh, th that little ba back cubby that comes around. So it's not a ton of storage, it's just a little bit of storage. Power everywhere, USB charging ports everywhere, so lots of power. So you know what time it is, right? It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. So if you're joining our channel for the first time, as I just mentioned, I am six foot four, so use my height as reference. And, uh, you know, we always, uh, or at least I always find it hard in a lot of RV bathrooms to, to find a toilet with enough space to sit comfortably. As you can see, I'm, I'm sort of in a normal seating position and, and my foot is right at the door. However, if I'm to close the door, you can see my foot right there, right? So they've cut the door high enough that if you're tall like I am, your foot might just stick out the bottom of the door. So that doesn't bother me. Uh, plenty of room this way. You, we're just pretty close to the door. But all in all, definitely thumbs up, okay? To my uh, angle right, um, you have yourself a little sink here. With decent countertop space, Lisa. Plus you've got this nice little shelf up there for your, your uh, toothbrushes and maybe a little cup or whatever. I like how they're making use of that space. Yeah, I do too. As far as the mirror goes, I can see from here down so if you're tall like I am and you're going to do your hair, if you're not follically challenged like me, you're going to have to bend over. Uh, there is also a closet in here, so there's a place for your towels and things. Lots of space in right? there. Right? Yeah. I wasn't expecting to see a closet in here, this being sort of a tiny pop-up hybrid. All right, now this has the uh, shower miser water saving system in it, as you see here on the little card. Um, if you didn't know what that is, it's this little thing right here. What that does is when you hit this, when you're first starting up your shower and you're trying to get your hot water, what it does is it recycles the water. It reuses it until it gets hot. And then when you flip the valve back down, then it starts letting the water go down into the tank. That way they're conserving water while you're trying to get your shower hot, okay? All right, so, as you can see, my head is up in the bubble. I'm not touching the bubble. I'm four fingers from the bubble. So that'd be about three more inches or so. So let's just say six, seven, six, eight max before your head is touching the bubble. Interestingly enough, it's it's kind of a tiny corner shower, but there's plenty of room. Um, you know, my, my arms aren't, you know, really, when I'm like this, they're not really hitting. Um, it, it, it's not bad, but it is a little bit cramped. It's actually um, a little bit smaller than a cruise ship shower. Um, so it's a little tight, but it's not bad. Uh, there are a few shelves in here for your shampoos and, and soaps and things. There's also a this sort of mesh mat hung up on the wall for, you know, maybe brushes and loofahs and things like that. So, so uh, I don't know, Lisa, what do you think? This is our first hybrid, right? Yeah, this is, um, yeah, I like it. Yeah, I do too. So uh, down the road, it's very light, mm -hmm. very small and compact. Yet when you get to where you're going, you know, you just bump out the beds, one on this side, and then a whole nother one on that side, and you've almost doubled your space. Yeah. Right? Yeah, absolutely. L let us know what you think. Is this your first hybrid? Is this the first time you've seen something like this? Uh, let us know in the comments below. Uh, as I mentioned, if this is the first time you've seen our videos, thank you so much. Uh, thumbs up, subscribe, become part of the Tall Man Clan. And, and as far as the Tall Man Clan goes, God bless you guys. We appreciate you being with us through thick and thin. Until we see you all again, be safe.